Now, to count the number of values, the number of ones or the number of twos or the number of threes in a particular subject, we need to use a formula. So I'm going to go into this box here and I'm going to, we want, we're concentrating on accounting and we want to find the number of people who put accounting down as a number one. Now, in this case, we can see that there are no number ones. Uh, we want, if we were looking for the number of twos, we can see that there are just two oranges, that's two. The number of threes, there are four of those. And the number of fours, there are two of those. And the number of fives, there are none. So we could visually tell easily for accounting, but obviously we want Excel to calculate this so that if we make any changes, the changes will be reflected correctly. So I'm in this box here, we need a formula. So I'm gonna start typing and all formulae start with an equals sign. So I'm gonna type in the equals and I'm gonna say count if, and what we're doing is we're counting if there are all one, if there are ones. We want to count if there are ones. So I'm going to open the left bracket and Excel wants to know where should it look. So with my mouse, I'm going to go up to the top of accounting where Sophie is. And I'm going to click and drag down to Deirdre and release. And then I need a comma. And now we need to tell Excel what to look for in that range of cells. So we're going to tell it to look for the number one. So we put that in inverted commas, the number one, open the inverted commas, one, close the inverted commas, close the bracket and press return. Press enter or press return and we get a zero because there are nobody, nobody has selected the number one and that's correct. So there's no zero people have selected a number one. Now we do exactly the same thing for the next formula down. We're gonna, we might as well just type it again easily. So we'll say equals count if, select the range again, and put the comma in. And this time we have opened the inverted commas, the number two, close the inverted commas, close the bracket, press return. And in this case, it's looked all the way down and it's found an orange there and an orange there. So there are two people who selected number two. Let's put in the, the formula for number three, equals count if, open the left brackets. Again, we tell it the range. So I'm gonna click, drag down, put a comma after the range, open the inverted commas, put in a three, close the inverted commas, close the bracket, press. And four people have selected a number three. Okay, and we're going to do exactly the same. Equals count if, open the left, tell Excel the range we're talking about, comma, inverted commas, the number four we're looking for, close it, close the brackets, press return. And last but not least, we're doing the number five. So again, we say equals, count if, open the brackets, tell Excel the range, and close the, uh, put a comma, and then the number five in inverted commas, close the bracket, and there are the, the calculations. Now the calculations, we, let's just check, are, there should be four people who've selected number three choice. So there's a yellow, 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 four people. And if we go back, if we change one of the other values, supposing we put Sally Ann had put in a value, maybe she said number three. If we type in a number three there, we get our yellow number three, and we see a number five being added on to the cell here. And so the formulae all update automatically. I'm going to delete that number for Sally Ann, and uh, then I'm going to press return, it's deleted, and the number's updated here automatically. Now, once we've done accounting, we don't need to copy across all the way over to home economics. We don't need to keep on putting in formulae all the way across. We're gonna just click this range of cells, and we're gonna go click that little blue square down in the bottom right hand corner, click, drag all the way across, and there are all the totals calculated all the way across. I'm gonna center them, center them with a centering tool. And there are all the calculations calculated all the way across. In this case, the number of people who selected four. There are 10 people who selected four for business. And in this case, there are 22 people who selected five for French. And here we've got seven people who selected the number four. 
for geography and so on. And over on this side, we can say, um, you know, we can have a total of this column if you wish. You want to see all the number ones, how many people all the way across all the subjects, how many people selected number ones. So if we wanted to do that, we could say equals sum, and then we tell Excel to range the sum of all of these here, all the way across and then close that bracket and that means there are 29 people who selected number ones I don't know whether we need this value or not but that's what we would do and we click this and drag the little square down and they're the totals so the 29 people selected number ones and there are 28 people selected number fours there are 22 people selected number fives and that's it.